One of the more popular agronomic practices uh, uh, in Illinois is going to be uh, <laughs> utilizing uh, early planted soybeans and taking advantage of, uh, uh, of economics of a, of a wheat crop. And so for those people who are looking at that opportunity, Dalton Kinnear, uh, one of the uh, uh, researchers at the University of Illinois in the crop physiology department, has some uh, great ideas. And uh, these are going to be presented at the Crop Physiology Day coming up on August 1st. And Dalton, we're, um, uh, we're of course in the middle of some wheat stubble here. Nobody uh, has any problem recognizing that. Nope. But what have you, what, what has happened here? It looks like some soybeans. You, somebody's already put in some double crop soybeans here. Correct, yep. So we're looking at this, you know, we come out here, you harvest that wheat and everybody's pushing for high yields. So we're pushing that high yield on our wheat. Well, that's gonna increase our amount of residue that we have out here. So what we're looking at is a real high residue intensity with double crop soybeans planted into it. And we're pushing to increase that decomposition. There's a lot of nutrient tie up that can happen carbon to nitrogen ratios come into play and we want to decrease that penalty that can come from a high buildup of residue out in the field. So that's what we're we're working on here. We're looking at with that double crop soybean and trying to increase the potential of those double crop soybeans. You've got a lot of different irons in the fire going here. You've yep. got making sure that your wheat crop has a good yield which generates all that extra residue. Yep. You want to make sure your soybean uh, crop has a good yield. So uh, you've got to get it up and out first. Yep. And then, uh, so the, where do, that, uh, those seem to be in conflict. Where do we take out that conflict? Well, where we can take that conflict out is applying a biological products that can assist in increasing the decomposition of our residues and that can allow to mitigate those problems with the carbon to nitrogen ratios that nutrient tie up and it also assists in increasing the release of our nutrients from that residue itself. A biological product. A biological product. What's in that biological product? It's more than just salt water probably. Oh yes, it's there's several microbes and t on this stuff specifically we're working with a lot of bacterial mixed with fungi that are designed, you know, they're bred basically put in a jug for increasing the decomposition. So using some of the things that we're fighting at home and putting them out in the field because they're going to help us. A little bit. These ones are a little, they're safe to go with you. You're good to go out in the field with them and we're just testing the efficacy of those and seeing how they're going to do and in addition, we're also throwing some different mixes in with that. So I'm not going to get in the specifics, though. I want to keep that a little interesting for later on. All right. So do we apply this? We apply this, of course, after we've cut the, cut the wheat. Yep. Uh, do we apply it before we plant soybeans, or have we already planted the, the soybean double crop in here? So what we're really looking at would be like a pre-herbicide pass before you plant your soybeans or you know maybe you plant and you have some weeds coming up a little bit after and before the soybeans get too big we're gonna apply that mixed in with our herbicide tank so our herbicide pass across the field that's what we would be targeting that kind of range right after the wheat is harvested can you put can you put the the biological in with the herbicide then well we're we're looking at that but that would be the plan that would be the plan is going with that and it depends probably on the biological and the herbicide some yep. may some may mix well some may not mix well correct correct and we haven't fully we're i mean we're pushing high yield we care about our weeds and everything we try to keep that down but we're focusing more on do those biological products actually work and increase our decomposition is what our main focus is but that would be the target application time period would be in that pre-pass right after the wheat's harvested okay now this is the second year of this trial 
correct. Okay, this what, will did be. You, what did you find out in the first year? What, well, what did we learn that first time with not everything you wanted to, yep. to experiment with, but what are some of those preliminary findings? Yep. Well, I'm sure the Illinois farmers remember, and are going to remember 2023 on being a very dry year. And we ended up, the wheat got in late in 2022, so we ended up having a late harvest on wheat in July last year and got our soybeans planted and it was very very dry the whole season all all the way through into august and we didn't see the responses that we were expecting we did see positive response though so go a little bit of a two bushel to three bushel gain on soybean and if anybody knows anything about soybeans and researching them they are hard to get a response out of. So we did see a minimal response, but we saw a response out here. Okay, and that may very well have been the lack of rain enhancing the activity of the biologicals. Correct. It just didn't have the opportunity to yep. work as it's supposed to. Yep, correct. And this year so far, we've had beautiful conditions for double crop. We got the weed out earlier. We got our soybeans planted. They're already coming up. We're at well, we're at VC right now, so we're looking good, and we got rain on it after we planted, so everything's looking good this year, and we're hoping to push that a little more, push our yields a little higher in general, and then on top of that, build more of a response off of those residues is what we're expecting to see on this year. Now, you've already sprayed the biological on this right now. Correct. Okay. Yep. You've got some yellow bags out here. What, uh, what are those all about? Yes, yeah, so the yellow bags, so... What we can actually do is when we spray them biological products, we can take a small sample of the residue from that plot and we can actually value how much degradation occurred and then on top of that, how much nutrient release we actually had going through the season. So we sample that small little portion and we can leave it out here and let it degrade because we got mesh bags that allows sunlight, rain, everything to flow through it. They still have ground contact with the soil and the biologicals were applied before sampling. So it's on that residue, I'm very confident in that. And we get to just look at that across the season and we can see how much it actually degraded and on top of that, how much nutrient we actually released for our soybean at the end of the year. That's a fascinating way of testing. You. You were creative in figuring that one out. Yes, yes. So. Well, good for you. That's uh, that's why uh, <laughs> that's why people go to school to figure out some <laughs> some smart ways of, of doing it and finding out yeah. some do finding out some answers. Dalton, when uh, uh, is this the last year of the project, or will you continue on for a future? What would be next? So, I am a second year master's student. So for this project, on my basis may be done unless I decide I want to continue on and then if I'm continuing on though I would like to keep with the double crop scenarios but I also want to build a high intensity high residue intensity long-term trial with several rotations and so it would be a alteration of this with more okay well good luck to you on that decision yes. and and making that we, uh, we appreciate Dalton Kinnear, who's one of uh, the uh, students in uh, Fred Belo's uh, uh, crop physiology classes. And you can hear more of what he has to say uh, on August 1st at Crop Physiology Day. So mark your calendar for, uh, for that. And uh, uh, for those of you who are interested in double cropping soybeans behind wheat and wanting to get rid of some of that residue, why this may be the answer to your challenges. We appreciate you watching.